Good morning, y'all. Uh, my wife is not feeling too well this morning, so it's going to be just me. So uh, if you would, uh, keep her lifted up in prayer that she begins to feel uh, better. And I just thank you in advance for that. Uh, this morning, we're going to be coming out of 1 John 4 and 20. And it says, whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. You know, I see a lot on Facebook where they, people say, you know, the memes, they say, uh, I don't trust this one or I don't fool with that one. And I got family that I, I walk by and don't say a word to, but you say you love God. And the Bible clearly states that. If those things are going on in your life and you're doing those things, then you're a liar. There's no way that you love God because how can you love God that you haven't seen, but you see your family on a daily basis and you don't speak or you don't love on them or you don't tell them that you love them. I mean, you never know when God is going to walk through his garden and pick those flowers to take into his house, meaning you never know when God is going to uh, say, OK, it's time and take one of your loved ones. Not saying that that's just going to be a super bad thing, but all of us have a time to go. And you don't want to be around here <laughs> saying, oh, well, I don't, I don't fool with her. I don't mess with them. Because when they're gone, there's no way that you can reconcile those things. There's no way you can say, I'm sorry, or I, I didn't really mean it. There's no way you can do that. So while they're here, love on them. As the saying goes, Give them their flowers while they can smell them. Love on them daily. Tell them that you love them. If you got a problem, if you all have any type of division between you guys and, and, and you're beefing right now, just call and say, hey, I love you. Whatever it was, let's, let's just squash it right now and have some restoration. Amen? Father, we just want to come to you right now, Lord God, and cover those that heard this video, Lord God. I pray for restoration, Lord God, between family members. Uh, friends, Lord God, right now in Jesus' name, I bind up division and separation right now, Lord God, for we know that it's not of you, Lord God, that is of the enemy, Father, and we just speak healing over those relationships right now in Jesus' name, Lord God. Bless us all. Keep us, Lord God. Go before us and prepare the way, Lord God, and when we arrive safely, Lord God, let, us all, let it all be well, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen? Amen. I love you guys, and I'll see you on tomorrow.